Hey everybody, and I wanted to say hi. Um, it dawned on me as I was creating the modules and everything that um, maybe not everybody in this class has had a course together. Maybe you haven't had me as an instructor yet. And so I thought I needed to come on and let you see who I am and hear from me and yeah. learn a little bit about what do I expect from this class and um, maybe <laughs> see an apology up front. So first, that's the first thing. I'm so sorry I was a week late, almost getting things out. Um, yeah, it's just really, truly, I forgot. And so I'll just be honest right up front. You'll find that that's the way I am. Um, but I think we're on a good roll now. I've got I got um, the first two um, levels are out there. Okay, so let's kind of back up. This class is about gaming and gamification in education. And I'm going to throw in some, as you've seen so far, um, there's a lot of focus on the gamification part. I'm also trying to throw in some resources and some things to read and look at and kind of absorb about game-based learning as well. And then what you're doing, you're, you're following, you're going with Sarah through the process of adding some kind of a gamification aspect to either a lesson, a class, a unit, whatever you choose in into what you're doing right now. Or it could be in a, a library, if you want to incorporate it into a library setting, um, a technology integration setting. You can use gamification with professional development. That's great too. So it doesn't just have to be in the classroom. You can use it in any kind of setting. And so we're going step by step in that first, the first step level one and you'll kind of notice I'm trying to model a little bit of the gamification aspect just through some of the um, the intrinsic mechanics that I'm adding, like um, the roadmap. You know, you've, you've got a little scenario set up, and that's with Sarah. She's our character. Um, it's almost a little bit of a simulation. We want you want to help work with Sarah to get her um, help her figure out game, what gamification is and how she can use it. So you're kind of working together. So um, that's a kind of a piece. Um, another piece is that roadmap. Okay, so each time we go to a new um, topic or a new level, um, you know, most games you play, you do levels. Um, I like to play Soda Crush and Candy Crush. You know, you're always moving along the path to a new level. It's kind of what we're doing with that map. We're going to each new level. So as you progress to a new level, there's a new map with, you know, here's where you're going next. And then each module, instead of calling them module one, two, three, four, I've decided to call them level one, level two, level three, level four. So kind of implementing a little bit of the, the game and the gamification layer onto our class. Not going full-fledged, you know, I'm not doing the points and all that. And you can in yours, that'd be great. I'd love to see a, a, a scoring system where you start and, um, in fact, I wanted to do that in this course. And obviously, since I forgot, it's not class. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I didn't get that done, and I'll tell you the truth, I'm working on my dissertation right now, and so that's kind of teaching dissertation family. You get it. I know you get it. You guys have got a lot going on, too. But, so that's how the class is designed. We go level, 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 level. So level one is the plan, because you kind of got to have an idea, an outline, what you're going to do, and then we're going to develop that plan. So the second step is what, what kind of story? Um, are you going to have a scenario, a background, you know? What's the story behind your gamification? What's going to pull your students in to this idea? Okay. And then we've got the story, and then we're going to add characters. So who's part of the game, or who's part of the gamification? That can be your students. That can be fictional characters, like I know I have Sarah in ours. <clears throat> it can be yourself. That can be you know other characters that the students create. They can make avatars. Um, they can take on roles, whatever you have them do. And as you'll find, oh, and I don't have my book right here beside me, the textbook. But as you'll find as you're reading the textbook um, and some of the examples that people have used, a lot of them are, it, a lot of them in this book that we're using is that, that massively multiplayer online uh, role-playing games. So people have roles to play and that kind of thing. And it's got that storyline. Your game doesn't have to be that. So don't think it has to follow those guidelines. It can be whatever you want it to be. But every game has some kind of a story. Even Angry Birds has a little bit of a story. Soda Crush, Candy Crush, 
they all have stories. Even Tetris, Pac-Man. You can get a story out of each of those. Something you're trying to do and achieve. They all have characters. And so these are the kind of pieces that we need to put together so that this, our gamification works. So your story, your characters, um, then... <laughs> and it's Friday, and I just forgot what level three is. Um, but we'll, we'll add um, you got scoring, um, character. Oh, the the challenges. What are you gonna have? What are you gonna have students do? Uh, how are they gonna earn points to move up in the levels? And we're gonna put it all together in one big piece and one big package. So we're gonna take our little outline plan that you'll do with level one. And we're going to flesh it all out through the other levels. And level five, we're going to be putting it all together. And then level six, we're going to talk about um, the future of all this. Is it any good? Does it work? Do you think you might use this? Um, how could you use this? How could you help other people use this? Um, is it all worth it in the end? But I hope as we go through this, you kind of get excited about the possibilities. And that you see that it doesn't have to be a full-fledged game or like um, like what they do what they do use and what they do show in the textbook but it can be as simple as the little pieces like I've been doing you know adding a character adding Sarah in there um, adding that roadmap adding the story calling things levels and just that little extra something that's going to motivate students to say, hey, this is really cool. I really like what we're doing. And then if you decide to build on that and see where it goes, all right? So as we work through each of these levels, and I'm, I'm working to get everything out there so you can you can progress them through them at your own pace. Um, I'm, I'm trying to grade methods of research and literature reviews and stuff as well. So I'm trying to spread my time out a little bit and go to my son's track meet, which is this afternoon. Um, and all, obviously other afternoons as well. So that time thing. So you work with me, I'll work with you, and we're going to get everything done without a problem. But as you work, if you have questions, email me. That's the best way to catch me. Or you can text me. I think my, I'm pretty sure my cell phone number is on the syllabus. If not, and you want my cell phone number, I'll be happy to give it to you. Um, so if you need to text me or catch me on a weekend or something, you can. Just so you know, I try to reserve Sundays for family day. So I'm not usually online as much. If I am, it's late, late in the evening. Even though I know a lot of you work on the weekends on your homework and stuff and you have questions, I do try to answer them at least one time on Sunday. But I'm not I'm not around a lot on Sunday. Um, but I'm here for you, and I hope you have fun. And if you have ideas or suggestions or things you want to see or learn about or talk about, let me know, and we'll see how we can work those in. So have a great one. Enjoy the weekend. It's a beautiful Friday. And I hope to talk to you again soon.